Wow, Thomas Ian Nicholas, he is a cutie. I wanna interject with a little bit about your master's program because uh, maybe someone who's on watching my show is considering doing their master's. I have my master of arts degree in music theater. Uh, Jeffrey here has his master's in... Journalism. Journalism, that's right. Journalism with a concentration on sports, correct? Correct. Awesome. So um, I just want to just uh, say the person is like considering a master's, what would be your advice about getting a master's degree? First of all, you have to be passionate about what you're pursuing because otherwise it's just going to be a waste of time and money. Um, in my case, I went back to school because I wanted to improve myself in the job market. Um, I think I was a little unsatisfied with where I was professionally at the time, so I figured, hey, uh, if I can get my master's degree, maybe um, I'll be able to improve my job prospects. I actually ended up graduating with distinction, and it took me about a year longer than I probably otherwise would have because I went on a part-time basis. So it took me three years to graduate instead of two, and it took about another five or six months before I was able to uh, finally get my first full-time job out of grad school. So um, it, it all depends on what your goals are. If you think you're going to be in a field for the long haul or if you just want a better job to make a better living for yourself, then by all means go for it. Um, I, I know a lot of people are hesitant these days because um, higher education is getting more expensive all the time and so that might cause people to go away. But hey, if you're passionate about something, you know, there's always financial aid. Um, you can always get help from elsewhere. If you can afford to uh, pay for some of the schooling yourself, I always go for it. I actually ended up paying for every other term that I went. So um, if you have a real eye set on a particular area and you feel like this is going to be your life, then again, you have to uh, really pursue it and probably one of the best ways to do that is by getting a higher education uh, degree uh, beyond uh, your bachelor's degree because hey I'm sure there are a lot of employers out there who would be happy to see something like that plus usually uh, that means a little more money in your pocket. I say definitely thinking about doing a master's do it only if you can afford it yourself. That's what I say. <laughs> or you can get scholarships or you can get grants because that's, that's, that, because, yeah, having that extra thought of like having to pay back everything is, is a, is a, I hate to say this word, is a burden sometimes. Okay. Anyway, enough about masters. I want to now segue into your 90s Youth Life podcast, uh, which I'll be pushing you to once we uh, ask this question. And I want to know why. Why? Why did you start this podcast? So, a few years back, I was visiting my friend, the Blink-182 fan that I just mentioned, uh, when he was in grad school. I was not yet in grad school, so I had a little more time on my hands. So, I visited him a few times during the, his last year there. So, we were talking one night at the place he was living at with a mutual friend of ours, also from our undergraduate days. All three of us went to the same uh, undergraduate graduate school and uh and those two were going to grad school together at the time so we were talking and he said you know what you should start a podcast and i'm like okay you know, I, I guess i should do that um because i wasn't really doing a whole lot else at that time um i figured another sports thing sports podcast would be very predictable on my part because anybody who knows me well knows how much of a sports head i am so i figured um, it may I should do something else I'm passionate about. And I knew that I was, for a long time, probably longer than I should have been at that time, really nostalgic for my childhood. So um, I, I figured that, hey, I was one year old in 1990. I was 10 years old in 1999. So I really experienced what it was like to grow up during an entire decade. I was born in 1989, so I don't remember anything about that. And I don't think anyone remember, expects to remember anything about the year they were born. So I figured, you know, I'll do a 90s podcast, and um, my first episode was about The Lion King. In fact, earlier this year, I decided to re-release that episode, so you can definitely tell that I've come a long way uh, since then on, the, uh, uh, on how to speak and how to read. Uh, 
and probably a little bit how to edit too. Actually, it's probably not have much better. But um, I decided that it, it would be a good thing to keep going just because I have some structure in my life. Because a little structure never hurt anybody. And you know, even though it hasn't really picked up the way I, I would have liked it to, it's just something that I can't stop myself from doing because. And I still, I'm still on this big nostalgia kick, and there's not really anything to stop me from doing it right now. Like, like I'm not married, I don't have any kids, um, you know, I'm still living at home. So I figured, hey, I'll, I'll spend my time this way. And it's been five and a half years since I started doing it, and I don't plan on stopping it just yet. So anyone who is the stout about the 90s. I'll be holding on for a little longer. I know I'm almost 30, but, you know, the nostalgia kick is still in there. You're right. A little bit of structure can never hurt anybody, <laughs> right? Uh, so anyway, so I am going to grant you uh, the to hear the rest of this interview to go over to 90s Youth Life, uh, to Jeffrey's podcast. I'm going to continue this interview with him. Um, but, uh, yeah, just because of... Um, uh, video space and all that stuff. Uh, I just, I wanted to, I wanted, yeah, I just wanted to, to lead you over there. So go over to 90s Youth Life podcast and then you can hear the rest of this interview. Alrighty, uh, TCAST tent poles have a beautiful, beautiful Wednesday wherever you are. I encourage you to interview your friends. You're gonna learn a lot more about them. Just set aside some time for both of you and interview them, really get to know them um, on a more introspective level and you'll find out more about yourself, you'll find out more about life, and you'll find out more about things that you love as well. So I grant you that courage, and have a beautiful Wednesday, and I'll see you next week. Bye. Hey, see that button down there? That's the button you used to subscribe to Chris's podcast. So do me a favor and click that, you'll enjoy it. And you're probably thinking, hey, why don't I watch another episode? Well, that's where you can click on the other side of the screen. So. Just go ahead and watch it because I know that you will find some great satisfaction out of seeing what Christopher has to say. Everyone take care.